Lucien's Cooking Show. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Lucien's Cooking Show. Uh, thank you to all my near and dear viewers. Let's jump right into it. Today, we'll be making my homemade nachos. Uh, we'll be having some uh, cheese, tomatoes, beans, uh, and of course, chips, and uh, we'll have a bunch of other stuff with it, and uh, let's get right into it. So what I use for my nachos is I take a big metal sheet or a cookie sheet and you take your aluminum foil and you get a large enough piece that's going to cover the entire thing. And if you need, you can get a second piece. But uh, then you spread your chips out and I'll come back to you when we have set up our cooking station. So here we have our ingredients before we cook them and put them in the oven. We have our cheese our heated beans, our onions, and our jalapenos. And then after we put them in the oven, we have our avocados, our tomatoes, our cilantro, our salsa, and finally our lime. And we're gonna lay it all on this chip bed. So first we're gonna start out with our cheese and we're gonna lay it out all over. We have a uh, four cheese blend here. Um, Quite sure it's from Trader Joe's. I'm gonna lay it out all over. We use a lot of cheese because everyone likes cheesy nachos and uh, pretty much everywhere. Finish that off. Next we have our beans and uh, we like our nachos nice and beany. everywhere and then we have our onions and we're gonna put uh, quite a bit all over here and finally we have our jalapenos and we're gonna put it on half the dish because uh, my dad likes spicy food but uh, my mother and I do not so he's gonna get some for himself and I will see you after these are cooked. So we just put the chips in at 550 on broil just to melt the cheese and they're about ready after half a minute. So we're gonna pull these out. All right, look at that. So. Right now, we're gonna put another layer of cheese all over. Just to be real quick so it melts quickly. There we go. And now we're going to get the rest. We're gonna put our tomatoes all over, gonna get that, those good nutrients through. Next, we will get some avocado in here. Gonna get that good fat rolling in. And next, we're gonna get some cilantro in here. Gonna add a bit of, a bit more taste in the end. Um, I'm actually gonna add a couple more avocados and we're gonna add some sauce on the right here and last but not least we're gonna add a couple dashes of lime which is gonna add some good sour kick in there As we add our final touches of lime to our nacho dish, I'd like to thank you all for watching this episode. And uh, please try this at home. It's a great dish. It's very delicious. And uh, I hope to see you all in my next video on Etienne's Cookie Show. Etienne Brownlow, WMHS News.